Hey everyone, school is out, kids are on summer break. What does that mean for me? That means there's like 10 kids over here playing right now at the same time. Now, if you hear noises in the background from about now until September, I can't really do anything about that. It'd be really nice to get like some noise dampening material in here or something, but that's just not an option. Nevertheless, today we are gonna press on with our third video. It's Friday, that means it's shooting day. And today, we're talking about motherboards. Specifically, Z87 chipset motherboards are a great deal right now. These motherboards introed back in mid-2013 and are now about half the price that they were back then. And there's a few reasons for that. First of all, let's talk about the difference between the Z87 and the Z97 chipset. The Z97 chipset is SATA Express M.2 compatible is uh, comes compatible with the Haswell Refresh Devil's Canyon processors and will be forward compatible with Broadwell. Now, an important thing to know about Z87 motherboards is that a lot of them are upgradable to be compatible with Devil's Canyon or Haswell Refresh processors. If you're willing to get one of those, then you can get a really, really good deal, especially if you get a motherboard that can be upgraded via USB BIOS flashback. Back when Z97 chipset motherboards were first released, what Intel wanted to do was to make everyone that wanted to use a Haswell refresh processor have to use a Z97 chipset motherboard. But Asus pushed back uh, with Intel and made it so that we could upgrade it through, upgrade a lot of their motherboards through USB. Now, some manufacturers followed suit, but a lot of the motherboards I'm gonna be recommending in this video were our ASUS motherboards simply because they pioneered that and simply because I think a lot of the best deals right now are with ASUS Z87 chipset motherboards. Let's take a look at one of the better deals out there right now. You got the ASUS Z87 Pro motherboard. When this was initially released, it was a $200 motherboard hands down. Now, just two years later, you can get it for $85 after rebate on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go there and check it out. But this compared to the, the new ASUS Z95, Z97 Pro Wi-Fi AC, which is $220. I mean, is it really worth nearly three times the money to go with that newer board? In my opinion, it's not unless you really need M.2 and SATA Express. Another deal that really caught my eye is the ASUS Sabertooth Z87 motherboard on Newegg, $115 after their $35 rebate card. But it's not just that. It comes with eight gigabytes of HyperX Fury DDR3 memory, which normally retails for $58 to $60. So $60 off $114, what's that, like 55 bucks total? So really you're getting an ASUS Sabertooth Z87 board, a great, really tough, durable board that comes with a five-year warranty for $55. That's a pretty good deal considering that the ASUS Z97 Sabertooth, I believe right now, the cheapest I could find it was around $165. So uh, if you need the RAM especially, this deal is a really fantastic one. This may sound a little bit redundant using another ASUS board, but I just want to point out that the ASUS Maximum 6 Hero uh, is available right now for $119 after a $30 rebate at uh, Newegg, Outlet PC, and Superbiz uh, is where you're gonna get a good deal. I think Amazon had this before for like 115, but they ran out of it. So just a really good deal right now. Uh, the uh, newer version of this is around $209 right now, but the Hero 6, you can easily upgrade it. And you know, like I said, if you don't need those new Z97 chipset features, if you're building a PC right now, you really don't need you don't need Broadwell either. Uh, if you were gonna do that, you'd probably just wait all together for an 1151 motherboard and go with Skylake. But if you wanted to build a cheap PC right now with a Haswell refresh processor, the Z87 chipsets again, chipset again is very, very attractive. All right, so if you don't want a Z87 motherboard, I understand you wanna stay current, you wanna stay SATA Express and M.2 compatible, then there's three motherboards in like the $150 price range I'd recommend. I recommend you don't spend more than you need because the difference in performance you're gonna get in terms of gaming from the $150 to $200 motherboards is really negligible. Now, if you're trying to push overclocking, if you like to go fast, then hey, go for that Maximus 
uh, that Maximus Extreme motherboard and, and do that route. Or even if you want to push it a little bit, you can go with the Asus Maximus 7 Hero. That's a really good board. But for a mid-range motherboard, there are three boards that you should look at and probably decide which one has more features that you need or decide which one's on rebate. That's the Asus Z97-A, the MSI Z97-G45 Gaming, and the Gigabyte GA-Z97X-UD3H Black Edition. All right, that's my thoughts on boards for this month. Okay, again, that's all that we have today for motherboards. Hopefully this has been of some value to you. I'd love to know what you think. Help this video get more exposure by leaving a comment in the comment section below, liking and subscribing to this video for more of our videos. Also, join us on forum.top10gamer.com. We have a brand new community. There's very few uh, community members at this point, but I'm going there regularly. You can also ask me a question at facebook.com slash top 10 gamer. We're going to grow this community. We're going to grow this channel and we're going to try to bring even bigger and better content to you. Again, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Valeo.